these strategy classics just don't feel the love these days. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 forgotten strategy games. For this list, we're taking a look at strategy games of all sorts, be they turn-based, real-time, or simulation-oriented, that don't receive the same praise they did in their time. From age-old innovators to newer, quirkier titles, these games are the ones we feel warrant more than a second look. Number 10, Empire Earth. Okay. Developed by Stainless Steel Studios, this real-time strategy title packs a few worthwhile surprises in its design. Empire Earth tasks the player with leading a civilization through 500,000 years of world history by harvesting resources and battling rival civilizations. Yeah, my lord. The game's depth come from the variables affecting one civilization, everything from the presence of summoned heroes, to a morale system that affects unit stats, to even the ability to create a custom civilization. It's a fascinating effort, to say the very least. Number 9. Populous Is this how it feels to play as a god? That may very well be a question of note when playing Populous, a game partly developed by Fable series creator Peter Molyneux. Populous takes place from an isometric perspective, as players attempt to help a settlement grow in number and overwhelm their enemies. You are granted control of mana-based powers that can affect the landscape in order to aid your settlement's progress. As an exploration of the responsibilities that come with omnipotent status, Populous is undoubtedly deserving of more attention. Number 8. Seven Kingdoms Departure from formula can be a great thing when done correctly. Seven Kingdoms shifts from elements of real-time strategy to turn-based strategy in its gameplay about conflicting kingdoms vying for dominance. It places emphasis on training and managing spies, sending out proposals for diplomacy, and keeping an eye on other kingdoms' reputations. Ready. Yet, this change-up from the standard base-building and resource-gathering makes the game distinctive and rather tense, with every action having the potential to pay off greatly or end in disastrous failure. Number 7. Europa Universalis Ah, grand strategy, a tried-and-true genre of choice. Yet, some may not recall the epic scope and politically-oriented machinations of Europa Universalis, spanning from 1492 to 1792. This game has the player command one of seven nations in Europe in an ongoing expansion of power by any means necessary. While its options for progression are notable, the player can rely on military force, wealth, or diplomacy, the game map's approximately 1,500 provinces are just as worthy a draw. Plus, Europa Universalis occurs in real time, complete with a pause feature, of course. Number 6. Master of Orion We're curious as to why this isn't as widely remembered. The premise of Master of Orion is reasonably simple. You command one of ten races in pursuit of total galactic conquest, venturing across the stars and taking territory. Yet, from this simple idea comes a fascinating mixture of space exploration, colony development, intergalactic relations, and other entertaining elements. The depth of the game's tech trees and diplomatic options, coupled with randomly generated star maps, makes for countless memorable play sessions. Number 5. Advance Wars Turn-based tactics on a handheld. Good times. Released for the Game Boy Advance in 2001, Advance Wars stands as one of the finest titles for the system, and sadly, one forgotten in the present. It tells the tale of an ongoing war between four color-coded nations, with the player bearing witness to betrayal and conspiracy aplenty. In contrast to this seriousness, 
the game delivers a bright visual style and intriguing gameplay mechanics, such as terrain effects and careful limits on unit capabilities. Number 4. Dungeon Keeper Bask in the glory of evil if you dare. 1997's Dungeon Keeper is an odd beast, so to speak. It's a dungeon management game in which players attempt to keep pesky heroes from looting their lair. From its focus on beings such as imps and wild animals, to players giving commands via a hovering hand. You need a bigger treasure home. Dungeon Keeper deviates from the norm on many fronts. Yet, with its infusion of dark comedy and its embrace of the bizarre, it's a classic title that deserves its day in the limelight. You have tunneled into a new area. Just as long as you stay away from that new mobile version. Number 3. Black and White We can now finish the temple! Once more, we feel the influence of Peter Molyneux. His first game with Lionhead Studios, Black and White took the concept of a god game and flipped it on its head. We're your conscience, good and evil, yin and yang. Your task, as an omniscient figure, was to gain control of the entirety of an island's villages through kindly acts of assistance, or destructive and awe-inspiring gestures. That was disgraceful. The key selling point, though, was a controllable creature guided by complex AI. Depending on how the player treated it, this creature can end up helping or hindering others. We'll say this, there's nothing quite like black and white. Hey, it's not finished! Well, we could help them complete it. Number 2. Total Annihilation To think, this was the first RTS game to feature 3D units and environments. Indeed, this title once stunned gamers with its fascinating mix of science fiction elements with genuinely innovative strategy features. Set in a distant future wherein humanity is divided between two galactic factions, Total Annihilation tasks players with utilizing a constant stream of resources to build up offensive and defensive measures. Sporting mechanics like battlefields with hundreds of combatants and a radar that showed enemies despite the fog of war, this game experimented with the strategy genre in interesting and memorable ways. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. We have to cause as much destruction as we can, and be quick about it. 3PO? Yes, sir. <laughs> Number 1. Dune 2 Dune. The building of a dynasty. Though some have long since passed it, Dune 2 still holds an important role in the real-time strategy genre. Its story is relatively straightforward, placing you in the role of a military commander from one of three houses sent to obtain spice on the world of Arrakis. The noble Atreides. Based on the universe of Frank Herbert's Dune novels, this RTS helped establish certain features of the genre, from a focus on base construction and resource gathering to using technology trees. Affirmative. Reporting. Acknowledge. Its status as a template for future strategy titles cannot be overstated, and we feel it still warrants revisiting. Enemy structure destroyed. Your mission is complete. Do you agree with our list? Unbelievers, better take a step back because I set traps to leave your next now. What strategy games do you feel have been forgotten? Yes, sir. For more thoughtful top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.